C7.6 fuel cells. Task 7, write the overall equation. Four hydrogen ions plus two oxygen molecules will react, given four electrons, to produce two moles of water. Discuss the advantages and disadvantages. So if we move across, here's a list of some. Uh, and what you can do, you can just pause that and have a look through. Key things are, for fuel cells, is that you just recharge um, the hydrogen at a fuel station and that can be done in five minutes. It's environmentally friendly, it produces a lot of energy for its size, no moving parts, it's very reliable, very efficient. If we look at the disadvantages, hydrogen can be difficult to store. We need energy to produce the hydrogen, sometimes that burns fossil fuels. It's highly flammable and the platinum catalyst is expensive. Uh, if you look at the, the cost of producing the, the, the battery, the cell itself, that also produces carbon dioxide in the manufacturing process. Conventional cells, highly variable here, they can produce a lot of energy for their size, but again, it's quite variable, some, some don't. Some can be recharged, and their low maintenance. Disadvantages, they age if not used, expensive to make, some cannot be recharged and they can contain toxic metal compounds. Main uses for hydrogen fuel cells they can be used for a variety of things, but it's all early doors yet. So we can't give concrete examples of where they're used in all of these areas. Compare electrical car powered by rechargeable battery with a car powered by a hydrogen fuel cell. Well, we can, I know it says put it in a table, but a little bit of research here. And again, lots of vehicles out there. So, um, huge amount of information. For a rechargeable battery, cars can go anywhere from 150 to 375 miles on a single charge, but that will vary. So a Nissan Leaf or uh, one of the, the Renault equivalent, they're about £20,000 to buy. A Tesla Model S, which is top of the range, is 80000 Cost of recharging is low and you can charge them at home, so it's fairly convenient. 20 tonnes of carbon dioxide is produced when making the battery. Recharging the battery takes time, 40 minutes an hour for a quick recharge. So that can be inconvenient if you're on a, a long journey and you've got to get somewhere by deadline. Fuel cells. Their range is greater, 414 miles on a tank of H2. Less carbon dioxide is produced when manufacturing these. An example is the Hyundai Nexo. Refill time at a hydrogen station is five minutes. However, finding a hydrogen station could be problematic because there aren't that many. Okay. So, following questions, we look at the reaction at the cathode where hydrogen loses two electrons to form two hydrogen ions. This is an oxidation process because the hydrogen loses electrons. Part two, the half equation at the other electrode where oxygen gains four electrons and forms two O2 minus ions. So that is a reduction process because electrons are gained. The overall equation we've already given, explain how you worked it out. Well, both hydrogen and oxygen form ions at the electrodes. H2 is oxidized, O2 is reduced. 
and it's a redox reaction.